hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so today's video i'm going to be showing you what i picked up from poundland now if you've watched my recent video you will know that i've done a come shop with me for easter at poundland and i have to say their easter range is up there so a little dicky bird had told me that poundland had their easter range out i went and looked on social media and there it was I could see that Poundland had put their Mother's Day and their Easter range out, so I had to go and take a look. So if you haven't watched that video, once you've finished this one, go back and take a look. So before we get into this video, I just want to introduce myself to all of you new viewers who've not been on my channel before. So my name is Charlie and I live in Teesside. I've been doing YouTube now for nearly two years. I bring content on lifestyle, shopping hauls, I seasonal decorate my home, and I do like to shot in a DIY now and again. If that is something that you're interested in and you enjoy watching, then please consider subscribing to my channel. It is free to do so, and all you've got to do is hit that red subscribe button down below. If you are a returning viewer and you've been here for some time, thank you so much for your support. It doesn't go unnoticed, and I know you've come to see what I picked up to decorate my home for Easter. So, let's just get into it. Now, I took my trusty bag from my last Poundland haul. This bag is absolutely amazing. I love it. So I took it with me. It's a pound from Poundland. So you know, this reminds me of the Christian Dior and everything just went into this today. So I didn't need to pick up a bag. Now, the first thing that I noticed when I went into my Poundland is that they had some of the last year's stock out. And it was only a small section, but they still had last year's stock out. I just think it's what they hadn't sold from last year and it had been popped aside. And then they're trying now to, to sell it. What I did notice for this year's Easter range is that they have put their prices on everything. Now, I mentioned it before in a video. I'm enjoying the fact that they're putting their prices on their products because we all know the items in Poundland are not always a pound. So this is the new Easter price tag. So if it's got this on, it is from this year. If it hasn't got this on, it's from last year. So that's what I noticed in my Poundland today. And it is actually Pep and Co. So it's because they've branded out now and now they're buying for Pep and Co. I was talking to the sales assistant. I actually think he was the manager of my store. And he said, we're able to get higher end looking products for cheaper because we are now with Pep and Co. So that give me a little bit of hope. So that is the new tag for Easter this year. So if you've picked up anything with this tag, you've bought this year's range. I also have a video coming up of the new homeware in Poundland. I did pick it up today, so I am going to incorporate it into this haul because I just didn't want to do a haul on homeware. It's a Poundland haul. I'm just going to show you everything that I picked up. So I am going to show you the Easter bits first because they're actually my favourite. So the first thing that I picked up was this decorative egg. Now, if you've been here for some time and you've watched Come Decorate for Spring with me, you will know that I brought a lot of pastels into my home last year. And I am still going to do that this year, but because I've redecorated my home and I've changed some of my accent colours then I just wanted to get some plain neutral items because I do need to go through my spring collection from last year because I did buy a lot of pastel colours. I'm not going to get rid of all of them but I am going to sort them out and I'm going to see what I can give to charity shop or what I can give to work and then I'm going to incorporate these new ones now I have just picked up neutral colours in this haul because I don't want to keep on having to rebuy all the time and I thought if I buy the neutral colours, if I change my theme next year, then I could just spray paint these with Poundland spray paint. So I did pick up this egg. It's a decorative egg. It is ribbed all the way around and it's a nice feeling egg. It's not that rough concrete egg. This, believe it or not, was only £2.00. Now, last year, this would have been at least £3 in Poundland. 
and I don't know why, but their prices have started to come down a little bit. We're going back to near enough a pound because last year I do feel as though some of the prices went up a little bit in Poundland and you were thinking this is not Poundland anymore. You were on par with home bargains. But I have noticed that some of them have started to come down now. And I think that's because they are with Pep and Co. So because they're getting more products, probably for cheaper, they can sell it for cheaper. So this is what I picked up and I just thought to style on my kitchen shelves or on a coffee table. I don't know where I'm going to style this, but they had this in a green, the white. I didn't see a gold because I know that there's a lot of gold eggs out lately. And they had some with fonts on the front and they also had them with a rabbit on the front. They had so many different ones, but I did just pick up the white one. So this was £2, which I thought was an absolute bargain. I then picked up this pearlescent bunny. Now, I've got a few of these from Poundland last year in the pearlescent. So that's why I picked it up in the pearlescent again. This year, I've noticed they've got a little bit smaller because the ones that I got last year, they were a little bit bigger. These have got a ribbon on. So he's got a nice white and gold ribbon on. He's got a pom-pom on the back for his tail. And this was one pound as well. Now they've done these in all different colors. So they had them in a lemon, a lilac, a pink, a blue, a lovely sage green. But I just picked this one up in the pearlescent. Now this was one pound. And again, I just thought to style with a candle or a reed diffuser or something. Just a nice white bunny would look beautiful. So if you're looking for little bits like this, head on down to Poundland, take a look first. And I am going to just put a little disclaimer out there that I think, and I'm, I'm not saying I'm right, um, you might think absolutely not, Charlie, but this year I have been to the range, One Beyond, B&M and Home Bargains and I have to say Poundland has come on top for Easter decor. Now don't get me wrong, I love Home Bargains, I have got a Home Bargains haul to show you guys as well. I love Home Bargains, I love all of their items that they're bringing out but for me there's something about Poundland at the minute that has just made me think that's my favourite for this year's decor. You might think, no, Home Bargains is better. That's that's your opinion. I've got my opinion. We're all entitled to ours. But if you haven't had a look at their range, then go and have a look because I think they're doing really well. Okay, so the next item that I picked up, I absolutely love this. They've done this in the white and the gold. Now, I've picked it up in the white and they've done a larger one of this as well so if you do go to watch the come shop with me you'll see it but i just picked up this white bunny with his head in his paws and he was three pound now the gold one was absolutely beautiful but the way i change my colors in my home i didn't want to get the gold one even though one of my accent colors at the minute is gold I didn't want to get the gold one because I thought next year if I changed my theme to a different colour, I could actually DIY him and just change his colour. So I did pick him up. He was £3. How cute is that? This is what I mean. You wouldn't think this was from Poundland if I sat him on a coffee table book, but I absolutely love him. £3 and I might even go and pick another one up. I really need to get my spring collection out of the way i need to get it out see what i've got see what i'm not going to use and get rid of that to make room for my new stuff okay the next item i think is my favorite item from the easter range at poundland this was an absolute bargain so it is this ceramic cracked egg now they've done this in a pink a lemon a green and i've seen it in the white so obviously i picked it up in the white now the reason that I've got this, I'm going to style this in my kitchen and I'm just going to put some mini eggs in it or some Cadbury's cream eggs. But I just thought sat by the, the kettle or just on the side with some treats in for Easter. My kids will love that. 
So I did pick up this. It is a pearlescent as well. So again, we've gone for that pearlescent look. This was an absolute bargain. It's actually classed as a flower pot. So you could actually pop a plant in this. I just, I didn't even know it was a plant pot. I picked it up just for mini eggs to put in the kitchen. But this was only £2. Like last year, this is what I'm saying, last year this would have been a lot more than £2. This would have at least been three three fifty. So I did pick up this and again I didn't even know it was a plant pot. And I don't I don't have any plants, so I'm gonna stick to my original plan and that was to put some mini eggs in there or some cabbage cream eggs. So how beautiful is that? I love it. Two pound. And like I said, I did get the white just because I don't want to keep buying all these pastel colours if I'm going to change them all the time. Now the last bit that I bought from the spring collection is they're all the same. But they're just in different colours. So I picked up these little rabbits. Now these weren't even a pound. These were 80 pence each. So I got the pearlescent one. Now they're done... In my Poundland, they only done this one and the gold one. They didn't do these in all different colours. But I just picked them up, again, just to style with a candle or on a shelf um, or on the side of my bed. But I picked up three in the pearlescent and 80 pence each. There was no way I was going to leave them. They are ceramic. So I picked up the three in the pearlescent. And then because I've added gold into my front room, I actually picked up two in the gold. I absolutely love these. For 80 pence, I may go back and get some more. That's if they're still in because I know these are going to fly off. As soon as YouTubers start to get their hands on these and show you how they're styling them, you're going to want to go out and get these. So go and get them now. So I did pick up the two gold ones. 80 pence each guys like not even a pound in the poundland so yeah these are beautiful i love them so that was what i picked up in the easter collection i may go back and get a few more pieces but i needed to get my other spring bits out first because i've got so much home decor that i don't want to keep piling it into the house if i've got stuff in my collection i can't actually remember what i picked up last year I have picked quite a bit up for this year as well. So I've picked up a chopping board. I've picked up candles and things like that. So I need to stop um, buying Easter bits at the minute just until I get my spring collection out. If you would like to see a video on last year's spring collection and me sorting through my collection, then leave me a comment down below. Let me know that you'd like to see it and I'll film it for you guys. So now I'm just going to move on. I only did pick up one beauty item and it is a Slay the Brow brow pencil. Now I got mine in a brown and it's from the makeup gallery and these are £1. Now I always use these and I always use the um, brow gel from Poundland. Absolutely amazing. I also use the powder. I've said it before. Two of the best products that I actually use from Poundland is the gel and the powder. But I did just pick up an eyebrow pencil just to fill out my eyebrows. So £1, but I thought I would show you it because I did pick it up in Poundland today. Poundland have upped their game with their home range. Now, I have done a video, like I said, and that will be up maybe my next video um, of the new Pep & Co home. But I'm just going to show you some of the items that I've picked up. So the first item I've picked up is, I think it's a jewellery holder. But it was £2.50 and it's just this. I'm going to put it there so that you can see it. It's just this silhouette of a face. Now we've seen these before. They're all over the place. But I did actually pick this up just to go into my bathroom on my windowsill. So it does have the hooks on the back where I think you put your jewellery and things like that. But I'm not using it for that purpose. So I just picked that up to go into my bathroom £2.50 really can't fall off they've had these for quite some time so this i don't think is new but again i just thought i would show you because i picked it up 
this next item is new and I know it's new because if I'd have seen this in Poundland, I would have picked it up. But it is this beautiful gold and black cup. Now, I originally bought this just to style and I think I am just going to style it. So I'm going to do my kitchen next. I've done my front room, I've done my bedroom. Um, there's little bits that I want to add into it, so that's why I haven't done a full video on it. But I'm going to do my kitchen next. And at this moment in time, I'm all about the black and the gold. So I did pick up this cup. Now, they've done it in the cream and gold, which if you've been here for some time, you'd have probably said that was more you, Charlie. But I am into the black and the gold at the minute. Now, this was £2.50. And I just thought if you styled a few of them hanging off a shelf, it would look so nice. But I did pick it up to style, but then I've also picked up another two cups from Poundland. Now, these ones were only 80 pence each, and they're just these Pep & Co Home teacup. It's 210 mils. I like that, the fact that it gives you how many mils are on it. But I did pick up two of them and I just thought, just to style on my kitchen shelves, just like that, um, 80 pence each, £1.60 for a little bit of decor. I would use them to be fair, you wouldn't get a big cup of tea out of them and I like a, a big cup. But I just thought to style on my shelves, then I'll get them. I would have liked two of them maybe to style but who knows i absolutely love the cups at the moment in poundland but this one has to be my favorite so two pound fifty for the black and the gold and these ones were 80 pence each and again i just got these to style in my kitchen i then picked up this under the shelf um caddy shall we say so what happens is you open up your doors in your kitchen and you pop this in and it gives you extra space underneath your kitchen cabinets. So I've seen a lot of people store their fruit on here. Um, if you've got a small tea, coffee and sugar, you could store them on there. But it's just to give us a little bit of extra room. We do only have a small kitchen and we don't have many cupboards either. So I just thought I'll get one of these. This was £4. And again, you know, you could store all your coffees on here. You could put your fruit and your veg on there, depending how you store your stuff. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on there at the minute. Oh, I could actually go and get a couple more cups and store them cups on there. So it's underneath my cupboard and I've got cups on display. Who knows, but I did pick up just one of these. Um, I didn't want too many. I don't want all these underneath because it would look a bit silly. But I did pick up this for £4, so I'm happy with that. And then I thought, if we are doing the kitchen, then I need to organise my fridge. Now, they've brought out these new containers. Now, I have seen other YouTubers show these on their channel. Um, and that's why I've gone and picked them up. So, you have a lid it comes with a lid it has a little basket inside so you can pop your fruit and your veg in there and give it a wash and then it also comes with the divider now i'm not sure why that oh yes so it also comes with like a little divider as well so you can have it like this where you could divide so you could have grapes in one side strawberries in the other or vice versa, raspberries, grapes, whatever. Um, pop it back into the container and pop the lid on. Now, who doesn't like a little bit of organisation in the kitchen? I know I do. Um, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna do the fridge as well. So they do have the little vents on the top as well. Now these are really good quality from Poundland, and they are four pound each so they're a little bit more expensive than what you would want to pay at Poundland but they are really good quality so I did pick up two of these again I eat a lot of fruit I have a lot of salad stuff and um, so I'll put my fruit and my salad in these but I just like the fact that you can use 
the little bit inside and give all your stuff a wash and then just pop them back in there. So I did pick up two of these. I'm going to go and get some more. I did notice that they had some in there for 125, but they were the ones that you know you could put your hands on. So yeah, watch this space because my fridge is going to be so organised. So yeah, pick them up. And then the final item that I picked up. Now, I bought something from Ikea and I was going to put limes in there. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that now because I picked up this vase. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it. But I did pick up this cylinder vase and it is quite large. And I'm thinking when I do my kitchen, as a little bit of a display, I'm going to do limes and lemons in here. I do actually use lime and lemons quite a lot. So I'll use my lemons for my lemon and ginger tonics that I do every week. Limes we tend to use in cooking. So I just thought if I put limes and lemons in there and then my kitchen is going to be black, I just think it'll look so stylish. Believe it or not, this was only £2.50 and I just think for £2.50 it's an absolute bargain. I am so impressed with Peck and Co's home range. It's absolutely amazing. As well as the Easter bits, but I have to say that £2.50 for this it is glass and I just think it's going to look absolutely gorgeous with limes and lemons in there. But I will take you along with me when I do my kitchen because I am going to be resurfacing my worktop. I've had a lot of people ask me over on Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram, I will leave the handle on screen. I've had a lot of people asking me how to wrap your worktop. Now, I've wrapped my worktop about four times in the past three years. Um, at the moment I've got wood but I am going to be switching that to marble so if you'd like to see how I wrap my worktop then leave me a comment down below let me know and also make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss that and that brings me to the end of my Poundland haul now I do hope you've enjoyed it I've enjoyed bringing you this haul I've enjoyed looking around Poundland recently and if you have then please consider giving this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and more importantly don't forget to subscribe by subscribing that helps me to bring you more content because then i know what sort of content you are wanting so if you've got any video ideas as well just leave them down below for me and i'm always out shopping i'm always thinking should i film this should i film that so let me know if you would like to see anything in particular and until next time guys enjoy the rest of the day whatever it is you're doing and i'll see you in my next one Bye.